Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're slipping into the silent shadows of next generation unmanned warfare with China's CH-7 stealth bomber, the flying wing UCAV built to pierce the toughest air defenses and deliver precision strikes deep behind enemy lines. This high altitude, long endurance drone combines low observability, autonomous operation and heavy payload capacity to serve as a force multiplier for the People's Liberation Army Air Force, operating in contested regions like the Western Pacific, alongside manned bombers and loyal wingman drones. If you're into cutting-edge aviation, stealth technology, or the future of unmanned strike systems, you're in for a deep, detailed look. The CH-7, also known as Ki Hong-7 or Rainbow-7, was developed by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation and first appeared as a full-scale mock-up at the Zhuhai Air Show in November 2024. It features a blended wing design, buried engines and internal weapons bays, allowing it to carry up to 10 tons of ordnance while maintaining a radar cross-section smaller than most fighter jets. From its initial reveal to recent prototype sightings at Malin Air Base in Xinjiang, the CH-7 has quickly evolved, with larger variants like the GJX pushing wingspans beyond 170 feet. We'll break down its full capabilities, dive into the technical design, explore its role in China's military strategy, share a few standout facts and wrap up with the latest updates as of November. So, power up the systems, lower the radar signature, and let's fly into the dark for everything you need to know about China's CH-7 unmanned stealth bomber. The CH-7 stands at the cutting edge of unmanned combat aircraft, designed for deep strike missions that demand stealth, endurance, and precision. It can infiltrate heavily defended airspace, gather real-time intelligence, and deliver targeted strikes, all without risking a human pilot. Powered by twin buried turbofan engines, it cruises at subsonic speeds around Mach 0.5 and can remain airborne for up to 15 hours, covering more than 1,500 nautical miles without refueling. Flying at altitudes up to 60,000 feet, it stays above most surface-to-air missile engagement zones while scanning the battlefield with advanced sensors. Its flying wing shape, coated in radar-absorbent materials, gives it an extremely low radar cross-section estimated below 0.005 square meters from the front. This allows it to evade systems like the S-400 or HQ-9 until it's close enough to strike. The internal weapons bays can carry a mix of long-range cruise missiles, precision-guided bombs, or anti-ship weapons, with a total payload capacity of 10 tons. External hardpoints are available for missions where stealth is less critical, adding flexibility for saturation strikes or electronic warfare. Onboard sensors include an active electronically scanned array radar with gallium nitride technology, capable of tracking air and ground targets out to 200 kilometers, plus infrared and electro-optical systems for passive detection. All of this is tied together by an advanced autonomous flight system that can operate in GPS-denied environments, resist jamming, and coordinate with other aircraft in real time. Whether suppressing air defences, striking command centres, or conducting long-range reconnaissance, the CH-7 brings strategic-level effects in a compact, unmanned package. Let's break down the technical side. The CH-7 has a wingspan of around 89 feet in its base configuration, with larger variants like the GJX stretching past 170 feet. It weighs approximately 13,000 kilograms at takeoff. The airframe is built from advanced composites and stealth coatings that reduce both radar and infrared signatures. The engines are deeply embedded within the wing to mask heat and radar reflections, with serpentine air intakes that prevent direct line of sight to the turbine blades. Flight control is fully fly-by-wire with AI-assisted autonomy, allowing the drone to navigate complex routes, avoid threats and execute pre-programmed or dynamic mission tasks without constant human input. The internal weapons bays are modular, capable of carrying CJ-10 land attack cruise missiles, YJ-12 anti-ship missiles, or smaller precision-guided munitions. The sensor suite includes a nose-mounted AESA radar, distributed infrared cameras for full spherical coverage, and electronic support measures to detect and locate enemy emitters. Communication is handled through secure, jam-resistant data links, with satellite backup for beyond line-of-sight control.
Ground operators use an advanced interface with augmented reality overlays, enabling one person to manage multiple drones in a swarm. The drone launches from standard runways and can land autonomously, even in degraded conditions, with a combat radius exceeding 1,000 kilometers and the ability to loiter for hours over a target area, the CH-7 offers operational flexibility that rivals manned strategic bombers at a fraction of the cost and risk. Strategically, the CH-7 fits into China's broader vision of integrated, multi-domain warfare. It allows the PLAF to conduct deep strikes without exposing high-value manned assets like the H-20 bomber. By operating in contested airspace alongside fighter escorts or drone swarms, it creates layered, unpredictable threats that complicate enemy defenses. Its ability to carry long-range anti-ship missiles makes it a direct counter to naval task forces, especially U.S. carrier groups operating in the Western Pacific. In a Taiwan contingency, CH-7s could suppress coastal defenses guide hypersonic weapons, or disrupt command and control from standoff distances. The drone's attributable nature, meaning it can be risked in high-threat missions, frees up manned aircraft for other roles. China is reportedly planning to produce dozens of these systems by the end of the decade, with potential exports to allied nations. When paired with the H-20 or smaller tactical drones, the CH-7 becomes part of a networked strike ecosystem, where one platform finds the target, another designates it, and a third delivers the payload. This distributed approach is central to China's anti-access slash area denial strategy. A few standout facts. The CH-7's design draws clear inspiration from the US B-21 radar, but with a focus on cost-effective mass production. Its internal bay can hold up to eight CJ-10 cruise missiles, enough to saturate defenses from hundreds of kilometers away. And unlike traditional bombers, it doesn't need a pilot, crew rest, or life support systems, which dramatically reduces size, weight, and operating cost. As of November, the CH-7 program is moving fast. The first full-scale mock-up appeared at Zhuhai in 2024, followed by prototype components spotted in early 2025. By mid-year, a larger variant, possibly the GJX, was photographed undergoing tests at Milan Air Base in Xinjiang, with a wingspan exceeding 170 feet. Flight testing is believed to have begun in secret, with low-speed taxi trials and systems integration completed. State media has hinted at operational deployment by 2027, with integration into H-20 strike packages. While exact performance figures remain classified, analysts estimate the drone will enter limited service within three years. Challenges like engine reliability and autonomous decision-making in complex environments are being addressed through rapid iteration and AI development. China's CH-7 unmanned stealth bomber is a silent, lethal shadow, combining range, stealth and autonomy to strike where it hurts most. What do you think? Impressed by its B-21-like design? Concerned about its strategic impact? Or curious how it stacks up against Western UKVs? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button if this one flew under your radar. Share it with your crew and subscribe for more deep dives into the systems shaping tomorrow's battlefield. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.